Welcome to section 11.3. Today we're going to be talking about the perimeters and the area of similar polygons. The objective for today is to compare the perimeters and area of similar figures. But before we start, we should become familiar with the understanding of what similar figures are. We know that similar figures are figures that one, have corresponding sides that are proportional, corresponding sides that are proportional, and all the angles, the corresponding ones, are congruent. So we wanted that information before we begin today's lesson. So we've talked about perimeter in the past. We know the perimeter is the sum of the lengths of all the sides. We know that area is the number of square units contained in its interior. Now, when we have two polygons that are similar, we're going to learn that the ratio of their perimeters is the same as the ratio of the lengths of their corresponding sides. So, just a quick example. If we have an equilateral triangle with all the sides that are 3, and we have another equilateral triangle with all the sides are 4, we'll call this triangle A and this triangle B. We know that the ratio of sides should be 3 to 4. Now when we talk about the perimeter, if we look at the perimeter of triangle A, it's just 3 times 3 times 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9, and the perimeter of triangle B is just 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. Now that ratio is 9 over 12, or simplify it down, divide both by 3, 3 over 4. So I proved that the ratio of the perimeters is the same as the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides. So theorem 11.5 talks about the areas of similar polygons. So if two polygons are similar with the lengths of the corresponding sides and the ratio of A to B, then the ratio of their area is just A squared proportional to B squared. So if we know the side lengths of two similar polygons, we know the ratio of their perimeters. Important, always simplify first. So you always want to simplify before you square. This is really important. You want to simplify before you square. So let's look at these two hexagons. So we have hexagon A, B, C, D, F and L, M, N, P, Q, R. So the first piece of information that's crucial for us is that these two hexagons are similar. So part A wants us to find the ratio of the perimeters of the hexagons. Well, I know that A, F has to be proportional to L, R. So I know A, F corresponds with L, R. This side right here, and this side right here. So the ratio of those two sides are 3 to 7. Now remember we said that the ratio of the perimeters is the same as the ratio length of the corresponding sides. So this ratio works for the ratio of the perimeters. So 3 over 7 is the ratio of the perimeter. Okay, part B wants to find the ratio of the areas of the hexagon. In theorem 11.5, we learned that if two polygons are similar with the lengths of corresponding sides and the ratio of A to B, then the ratio of their areas is A squared over B squared. So, we have a ratio of 3 over 7, so all we're going to do is just square them. And that fraction is already simplified, so we're left with 9 over 49. And we can't simplify that anymore, so that's our final answer. Let's do a few more practice problems to find the ratio and the perimeters of the area. So, for this diagram on the left, for number one, I know that AC 
has to be proportional to df. It's really good to go by the similarity statements because they already have it organized for you. So, let's find the ratio of the perimeters first. So the ratio of the perimeters, AC is 4, DF is 10. So remember, we always have to simplify. So we divide both those by 2, and the ratio of our perimeters is 2 over 5. Now, if we want to look at the area, since this is already simplified, all we have to do is just square the top and the bottom. So we get 4 over 25. Okay? Now let's look at the diagram on the left, on the right for number 2. Here we're given CD and EF, which is perfect. So the ratio of the perimeter is going to be 1 over 5. And the ratio of the area is going to be 1 squared over 5 squared. So the ratio of the area will be 1 over 25. So let's talk about gazebos. So in this problem, we have a park that has two gazebos. We have a large, a small gazebo, and a large gazebo. Okay, the floor of one gazebo has a perimeter of 72 feet. So, the perimeter of this gazebo is 72 feet. And it has an area of about 374.12 feet. Now, the larger gazebo, we know, has a perimeter of 96 feet. So, the question is, what is the area of the larger gazebo? So at the beginning of this lesson, we learned that the ratio of the perimeters is the same as the ratio of the length of the corresponding sides. So if we figure out the ratio of the perimeters, sorry, I'll, let me erase that. If we figure out the ratio of the perimeters, we see that it's 72 over 96. And if we simplify that fraction down, we get 3 over 4. So this is technically the same as the ratio of the sides. So we have to figure out area. So the ratio of the area, what we need to do is we need to square these. So we have 3 squared over 4 squared. This is going to give us the ratio of the small gazebo to the larger gazebo. So the ratio is 9 over 16. So we know 9 is talking about the smaller gazebo. So now we're talking about the ratio of the areas. Is 9 over 16. We know the smaller gazebo has an area of 374.12. What we're worried about is the area of the smaller gazebo. So now we have this proportion right here. To solve for this proportion, we need to do we need to cross multiply and divide by nine. So when we do this out, we have nine x equals five thousand nine hundred eighty-five point nine. Then when we divide nine by both sides, we have x equals 665. So let's quickly recap what we did in this problem. The first thing we did was find the ratio of the perimeters. Once we found that, we could find the ratio of the areas And once we did that, we wrote a proportion
to solve for the large area. That's the end of this video. Once again, thank you and take care.